Good morning, folks. Hello, family. This is Raymond X, the Prophet again, coming to you from my apartment bedroom in sunny Ocala, Florida. And this is the Word for Today, Part 1, for April 1st. <laughs> this is the Word for Today, Part 1, May 1st, 2020. Once again, the Word for Today, Part 1, for May 1st, 2020. Today is August 11th, on a Tuesday, 2020, 6.20 a.m. And let's go ahead and get into the Word of God this morning. April 29th, 2020. This is the message I've received at 9.29 p.m. It is my joy to see my people prosper. This is Jehovah speaking. It is my joy to see my people prosper. Jehovah. Psalm 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, who is pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. The book of Numbers, chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to obtain, to observe carefully all His commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 16 And then I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in His ways, to keep His commandments, His statutes, and His judgments, that you may live and multiply and the Lord God, your God, will bless you in the land which you go to possess. Psalm 20, verse 4. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. Psalm 23, verses 1 and 2. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. An external entry, April 29, 2020. 9.37 p.m. during worship. First he created me, then he died and purchased me with his precious blood. Now I'm his forever, twice over. First he created me, then he died and purchased me with his precious blood. Now I'm his forever, twice over. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man his own image, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, fill the earth, and so do it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Then the Lord God took the man, and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Verse Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. Only fear the Lord, and serve him in truth with all your heart, for consider what great things he has done for you. Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 22. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. The book of Isaiah chapter 43, verses 7 and 21. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him, yes, I have made him. This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I give it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. The Gospel of John chapter 6 verses 50 through 71 this is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of it and not die. 
I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. And as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Now it is your fathers ate the manna and are dead. He who eats this bread will live forever. These things he said in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Therefore many of the disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying, who can understand it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples complained about this, he said to them, Does this offend you? What then, if you should see the Son of Man ascend where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives me life. The flesh profits nothing. The words I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were who did not believe and who betray him. And he said, Therefore I said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. From that time many of the disciples went back and walked with him no more. And Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is the devil? He spoke of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he who betrayed him, being one of the twelve. The book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 28. Therefore take heed to yourselves and to all the flock, among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Romans chapter 3. Verses 24 and 25. Being justified freely by His grace, the redemption as in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood through faith to demonstrate His righteousness because in His forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than having now been justified by His blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 through 30. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, do this remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, now discerning the Lord's body. For this reason many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Psalm 139, verses 7 and 6. Psalm 139, verses 7 through 16. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings in the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, if I say, Surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you. The night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you form my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. And that my soul knows very well, my frame was not hidden from you, when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they were all were written, the days fashioned for me, 
when as yet there were none of them. The Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 37. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. John chapter 10, verses 28 and 29. And I gave them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. That if you confess of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Colossians chapter 1, verse 20. And by him, to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 30, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, for whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. The next journal entry, April 29, 2020, at 9.44 p.m. The promise of His coming. Once again, the promise of His coming. Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 3-11, through 11, key verse 4. Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of water and in, in the water. I wish the world that they then existed perished, being flooded with water. But the heavens and the earth, which are now preserved for the same word, are reserved for fire into the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, do not forget this one thing, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat, both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? Genesis chapter 19, verse 14. So Lot went out and spoke to his son-in-law, spoke to his sons-in-law, who had married his daughters, and said, Get up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But to his sons-in-law, he seemed to be joking. Ecclesiastes chapter one, verse nine. That which has been is that which has been is will what will be. That which is done is what's done will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse eleven. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 19 That say, Let him make speed and hasten his work, that we may see it. Let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw near and come, that we may know it. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 15 Indeed they say to me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. Ezekiel, chapter 11, verse 3. Who say, The time is not near to build houses. The city is a cauldron, and we are the meat. 
Ezekiel chapter 12, verses 22 and 27. Son of man, what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel which says, the days are prolonged and every vision fails? Son of man, look, the house of Israel is saying, the vision that he sees is for many years, the vision that he sees is for many days from now, and he prophesies the times far off. Malachi chapter 2, verse 17. You have wearied the Lord with your words, yet you say, In what way have we wearied him? And that you say, Everyone who does evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delights in them. Or, where is the God of justice? The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 27 and 28. For the Son of Man will come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and he will reward each according to his works. I sure I say to you, there are some standing here who shall not taste death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Matthew chapter 24, verse 48. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delayed, delaying his coming. April 29, 2020, 9 47 p.m. This journal entry. A spirit filled life. A spirit filled life. The book of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 31. When they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were filled, all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. The book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 17. And Ananias went his way and entered the house, and laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came, has sent me that you may receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has given to us. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. 1 Corinthians Chapter 12, verse 13. For by one Spirit we are all baptized in the one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. An external entry, April 29, 2020, at 11.36 p.m. This is the book of, one of the books of the Apocrypha. The book of Sirach, chapter 3, verses 1 through 31. Hear me, your father, O children and do thereafter that you may be safe. For the Lord has given the Father honor over the children and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons, whose honor the Father make an atonement for his sins. And he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure, whose honor his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. He that feareth the Lord will honor his father, and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establish the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooteth our foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. For the glory of a man 
is from the honor of his father, and a mother is in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. For the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build thee up. In the day of thine affliction it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away as the ice in the far, fair warm weather. He that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed of God. My son, go on with thy business in meekness, so shalt thou be beloved of him that is approved. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Many are in high place and in a renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Seek not out, seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. But what is commanded thee, think their bond with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. For what, without eyes thou shalt want light, profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness hath taken root in him. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. Water will quench a flaming fire, and alms make an atonement for sins. And he that requiteth good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter, and when he faileth, he shall find a stay. An external entry, April 29, 2020, at 11.50 p.m. My heart is focused on you. My heart is focused on you. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7. For the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, for the Lord looks at the heart. Psalm 1, verses 1 through 6. The way of the righteous and the end of the ungodly. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, they are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Psalm 26, verse 2. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my mind and my heart. Psalm 84, verse 5. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, 
whose heart is set on pilgrimage. Proverbs chapter 2, verses 2 through 5. So as you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yes, if you cry out for discernment, lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might. For there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. Matthew chapter 6. Verses 24 and 33. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Romans chapter 8, verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh, with their minds and the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 13. No temptation has overtaken you, except such as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of escape, that you may be able to bear it. Philippians, chapter 4, verses 8 and 13. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 through 8. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and into deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. An external entry, April 29, 2020, at 11. 52 p.m. A message and warning to my enemies. The visitation of their iniquity shall be upon them in their day of trouble. Once again, a message and warning to my enemies. The visitation of their iniquity shall be upon them in their day of trouble. Psalm 94, verse 23. He has brought on them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness the Lord our God shall cut them off. The book of Hosea, chapter 9, verse 7. The days of punishment have come, the days of recompense have come. Israel knows. The prophet's a fool, the spiritual man is insane, because of the greatness of iniquity and great enmity. An external entry, April 29, 2020, at 11.57 p.m. This message. A watchman on the wall. A watchman on the wall. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6. I set watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem. They shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent. Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 17 through 19. Son of man, I made you a watchman for the house of Israel, therefore hear. A word from my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, for his blood I will require at your hand. Yet if you warn the wicked, and he does not turn from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Ezekiel chapter 33 Verses 1 through 33. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, 
saying, Son of man, speak to the children of your people and say to them, When I bring the sword upon the land, and the people of the land take a man from their territory, and make him their watchman, when he sees a sword coming upon the land, he blows the trumpet and warns the people. Then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning, if the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not take warning. His blood shall be upon himself. But he who takes the warning will save his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, and the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore, you shall hear a word from my mouth and warn them for me. When I say to the wicked, a wicked man, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked man from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked man to turn from his way, he does not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but you have delivered your soul. Therefore you, O son of man, say to the house of Israel, Thus you say, If our transgressions, our sins lie upon us, and we pine away in them, how can we then live? Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways. For why should you die, O house of Israel? Therefore you, O son of man, say to the children of your people, The righteousness of all the, right, the righteous man shall not live for him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall because of it the day that he turns from his wickedness, nor shall the righteous be able to live because of his righteousness in the day that he sins. When I say to the righteous that he shall surely live, but he trusts in his own righteousness and commits iniquity, none of this righteous work shall be remembered, but because of the iniquity that he has committed, he shall die. Again, when I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, if he turns from his sin and does what is lawful and right, if the wicked restores the pledge, gets back what he has stolen, and walks the statue of his life with out committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the sins which he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done what is lawful and right, he shall surely live. Yet the children of your people say, The way of the Lord is not fair. It is their way which is not fair. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, he shall die because of it. But when the wicked turns from his wickedness and does what is lawful and right, he shall live because of it. Yet you say, The way of the Lord is not fair. O house of Israel, I will judge every one of you according to his own ways. And it shall come to pass in the twelfth year of the captivity, of our captivity in the tenth month, on the fifth day of the month, that one who had escaped from Jerusalem came to me and said, The city has been captured. Now the hand of the Lord has been upon me in the evening before the man came who escaped, and he had opened my mouth to whom he had came to me in the morning. My mouth was opened, and I was no longer mute. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, they who inhabit those ruins and land of Israel, saying, Abraham was only one, and he inherited the land, but we are many, and land has been given to us as a possession. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord God, You eat meat with blood, you lift up your eyes toward your idols, and shed blood. Should you then possess the land? You rely on your sword, you commit abominations, and you defile one of those wives. Should you then possess the land? Say thus to them, thus says the Lord, God as I live. Surely those who are in the ruins shall fall by the sword. And the one who is in the open field, I will give to the beast to be devoured. And those who are in the strongholds and caves shall die of their pestilence. For I will make the land most desolate. Her arrogant strength shall cease. And the mountains of Israel shall be so desolate that no one will pass through. Then they shall know that I am the Lord when I have made the land most desolate, because of their abominations which they have committed. As for you, son of man, the children of your people are talking about you besides the walls and the doors of the houses, and they speak to one another, everyone saying to his brother, Please come and hear what the word that has come from the Lord. So they come to you as people do, they sit before you as my people, and they hear your words, but they do not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their hearts pursue their own gain. Indeed, you are to them a very, as a very lovely song of one who has a pleasant voice and can play well on instrument. For they hear your words, 
but they do not do them. And when this comes to pass, surely it will come, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. True, the Lord God does nothing, as He reveals His secret to His servants, the prophets. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 21, verse 36. Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I urge you, brethren, note those who cause the vision of offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learn and avoid them. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Therefore he says, Awake you sleep, Awake you who sleep, arise the dead, and Christ will give you light. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28. And God has appointed those in the church, first apostles, Second, prophets, third, teachers, after that, miracles, the gifts of healings, helps, administrations, varieties of tongues. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Obey those who rule over you, and be submissive, for they watch out for your souls as though he must give account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, for they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8 I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Finally, Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 through 18. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me, saying to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, for whom the kings of the earth committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and precious stones, and pearls having in her hand a golden cup of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication. On her forehead a name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I marveled with great amazement. But the angel said to me, Why do you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and the beast that carries her, which has the seven heads and ten horns. The beast that you saw was and is not, and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go to perdition. And those who dwell on the earth will marvel, whose names are not written in the book of life, but the foundation of the world when they see the beast that was and is not and yet is. Here's the mind which is wisdom, the seven heads are seven mountains, on which the woman sits, there are also seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and the other has not yet come. When he comes, he must continue a short time. The beast that was and is not is himself also the eighth and is the seventh and is going to perdition. The ten horns which you saw are ten kings. They receive no kingdom as yet, but they receive authority for one hour as kings of the beast. These are of one mind, and they will give their power and authority to the beast. These will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them, for He is the Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with Him are called, chosen, and faithful. He said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues, and the ten horns which you saw on the beast. These will hate the harlot, make her desolate and naked, eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. For God has put into their hearts to fulfill His purposes, to be of one mind, and to give their kingdom to the beast, until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman whom you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. Okay, folks and family, the final journal entry I have for you 
April 30th, 2020 at 8 a.m. This is a Bible app. I have my cell phone. And this is the word I received, this Bible book and verse. Psalm 42, verse 11. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him for help my countenance and my God. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you to close this out is a song called Just the Cross. Just a Cross by Futures. So the group name is Futures with the song Just a Cross. I'll post a link to that in the description box below the video. And I also will post the video YouTube link to the video below that as well. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Day Part 1 for April 5th, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day Part 1, April 5th. April 5th. <laughs> the Word for Day Part 1, May 1st, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day Part 1, May 1st, 2020. April showers do bring May flowers. God bless you all as you go about your business today. God loves you, so do I. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Very, very soon. Sooner than you think. So this is your day of salvation. This is your day to repent. This is your decision day. Your day to redeem yourself. Repent, repent, repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. And Jesus Christ is going to come on a day that you won't be expecting Him to come. Don't be caught spiritually asleep. Okay, folks, that's all I have for you today. God bless you today. God loves you and so do I. Stay safe out there and I will see you for part two of this series following this video. Bye bye for now. I love you. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. I love you all very much. Bye bye for now.